first of all, Florida is a hotbed of great people and foolishness. Florida has a reputation in America. There's a reason why when you say Florida man, everyone knows who you're talking about. There's more than gators in the water. We wanted to be true to Florida, but also we wanted to really just lean in to our idea in drag as being like a fabulous princess. But we're also adults, and there's like a bad bitch energy to it as well. So it is Belle, but you know, maybe Belle after five o'clock. This look is actually in two pieces, which made it really easy to walk around in. I can actually sit in the van and go from location to location, because that has not always been the case. We've, we've learned, three seasons in, we're learning. Belle has this massive flower purse, which I absolutely love. And you know, I love a good tall heel. And the hair, I had locks down to here, like long, beautiful, luscious locks. Little crown in there to top it all off. Growing up watching Disney movies, I would relate to the princesses. It felt taboo as a kid, but as an adult, it actually feels really liberating. Honestly, I can't imagine anything going wrong. First of all, I loved the movie Cinderella, and I've always loved her story. You know, she wanted to find her Prince Charming, and I'm out here looking for my Prince Charming too. On this particular wig, I worked with a friend of mine who lives in Florida. His name is Calvin. We wanted to go with something that was classic to Cinderella, but still make it drag. You know, she had the little blonde quaff, but you know, in drag, baby, we want to take it to the high heavens. And if you touch it, baby, she's rock hard. Then of course, you know, we had the little headband in it. The earrings and the jewelry were all created by Rocks by Cox. She's a designer that we've worked with for a number of seasons. Diego and Ricky really went in on this one. Cinderella had that beautiful blue, but the fabric that he uses has like a shimmer and a shine to it. In addition to that, he had the beautiful cutouts and, and the pearl and the crystal detail that's throughout. You know, the birds are like always helping her. So I have three birds helping me. Tie the bow in the back. And then we go down to the shoe. These shoes were definitely a pair to be gotten. You know, it has that beautiful chunky heel that's really in style and fashion right now. I was feeling very Ariana Grande. I told y'all I was walking through Florida looking for a Prince Charming. And the best way to catch him, with a garter belt, baby. I chose Snow White. I was like, who better? Plus, I just wanted to be a big badass Snow White. Everything that we did for this look was very custom. We've got Wigs and Grace who decided to make me this giant pompadour wig with the flip out with the little double bangs in the middle part. A huge bow, very Snow White. The makeup here, we're looking at some beautiful blends of yellows and reds to kind of give that same color palette with a really bright red lip. We might have blown my skin out a little bit too because Snow White was known for having really bright skin. I love 16th century fashion, so we went very Victorian in the shoulder and the bodice. We wanted to add a lot of detail there so that that central point of my body with those lines would make me look even thinner. Give myself some huge hip cages and show a lot of leg to add that sex appeal. But also keep like this little frilly sock to like make it extra girly too. So we really wanted to go customize jewelry for this. So we added like the pearls and these beautiful custom stones. And then all my nails are customized by Custom Queen Claws. My mama taught me, a lady never leaves the house without an evening bag. So I had one, but it was imitating that poison apple, just giving super camp in this princess look. So the fact that we got to do princesses was lovely, but maybe then we flipped the script and became the villains. Well, you know, here in Florida, there's been a lot of politics that have tried to villainize queer people. That's why we're showing up today as villains, mama. Just Girl, the existence of drag is activism. This is the moment, baby. This is not a time to sit back. This is a time to be heard. So we wanted to show up to the local rally they were having as villains, but be the fiercest here for business villains you've ever seen. You know, it's like if Ursula was a female who owned a giant corporation. You know, it ain't her fault, she's an octopus that's a bad bitch with magic, okay? <laughs> I went with a really tight pencil skirt, and then I had like a shrug that was made of the eels that said, just say gay on the back. We took foaming and like molded these tentacles around my body. Again, my custom claws had tentacles on them. You know, we did this hair that was super blown up so that way it looked like I was underwater. She obviously had already won the trident from a king trident, and there's a flag that pulls out that says, just say gay. You want to villainize me? I'll show you a villain. Honey. Something wicked was coming. Maleficent is like the understated fashion icon. 
Maleficent has these iconic horns. And I was like, well, I don't want to wear horns. And Gloria had an idea to do these braids. When I put it on, I felt so stunning, so tall, so ferocious. I want to say it's probably my favorite wig of the season, actually. Also, Layla McQueen did some really remarkable makeup with this like sharp cheekbone illusion. Gay is not a bad word. So the fact that we have this just say gay in our garments, I think can be very empowering. You can go around acting like Cruella all day, but if you don't have the look, maybe you're not serving the full moment. So we didn't want to miss any of the elements. You know, you had to have the Cruella hair. We had the hat. We had the Dalmatian coat. He stoned each and every one of those little Dalmatian patches on us so they would really pop. And you want to pay attention, baby, because the devil, or should I say the Cruella devil, is in the details. We had a fabulous fur coat that was red lined. In addition to that, I went black pantyhose with this one. Classy diva with this Dalmatian print shoe. Ooh, look at the gloves. You'll see that there are nails attached to the gloves that are all red rhinestone as well. She has the cigarette holder. You know, that's classic Cruella. I don't smoke, but we put a little fake piece in there, you know, for the people. So make sure you are loud, you are proud, and you say gay every chance you get. This was so much fun. This was a really great number. So I called up my friend Nina West, who's a really great activist drag queen based out of Ohio. She did this number a while back called The Living Gown, and I wanted to pay homage to her. So I am in a pantsuit, and I have all these dancers around me, and they are the gown part of my dress. So it looks like I'm in this massive, massive gown, and then they all branch off, and then you can see that the gown itself is actually moving and dancing. Those dancers were very, very wonderful. Oh my God, the performance was so good. And the crowd was with us every step of the way.